doubles bandwagon rush down blockbuster attack transforms double into a powerful peacock loaded jalopy and rushes at her opponent. This attack is completely invincible, making it formidable as it is easy to use. Bandwagon rush is performed by inputting towards a performance double punch and consumes one level of tension, hold back immediately after it starts to change which direction it goes. <laughs> Devil's Bazaar could lives, blockbuster attacks and a flurry of feline heads that fit around her feet. Flip, fit, flip, 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 around her feet. Each time Devil uses a normal attack, the, uh, the heads attack in concert with her, and extra hits to every attack if used effectively. Catillit Lives is performed by inputting Kurtoska forward double kick and consumes two levels of tension while some of the heads attack vary with the the heads attacks vary with the attack button used. Nightmare Legion Blockbuster attack transforms double into a variety of, a variety of playable and mysterious characters to perform an elaborate, co elaborate combo attack. Nightmare Legion is performed by inputting Kurosaka back to the punch and then to threat full of tension. My voice broke there. <laughs> Double's Megalith Array can be used on the ground or in the air and transforms her into a projectile spearing in Maui head for a short period of time. Each attack button fires a different projectile and can lead into huge combos and damage if used effectively. Megalith Array is performed by inputting Corsica like back double punch and consumes all five levels of tension. After the transformation, pressing each attack button fires a different projectile until she transforms back. Alright, let's try this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. She's a nun? A nun alien? Is that what I'm playing as? Yes. Yeah. Introducing Squiggly. Squigglies are subtle and includes a wide variety of attacks and abilities to serenade the opponents with their sweet song of pain. Her mobility is somewhat limited, but her attacks and unique powers give her the flexibility to stand on equal footing with any opponent she might face. Fear. There's quite a bit of ground cover, so let's get right into it. Oh, so this is going to be another long one like Cerebella, I'm assuming. Livermortis is a powerful short range attack that sends the opponent flying. Livermortis is performed by inputting Kotoka forward light punch. Try it out. Wow. Let it be. You really do go flying with that. Great. Work this move into your arsenal, and you'll find that it has many more uses than you might think. Squiggly is at her most comfortable when she's the center of attention and center stage serves exactly that purpose. It censors the camera on her and all players on the screen closer to her own process. Center stage is performed by inputting courts of forward and you much seconds. Oh. Great job. As you imagine, 
As you can imagine, this ability will come in handy when you're having trouble getting in close to your opponent. Why go to them when you can make them go to you instead? Dragon Bite. Sometimes Leviathan gets extra hungry and his appetite is nearly too much for Squeakly to handle. Leviathan yanks her along as she chomps viciously in the direction of the opponent. Dragon Bite is formed by inputting course of a heavy punch. Give it a go. Okay. Ready? Doing some kind of dragon fire move. Dragon Bite covers a large area in front of Squiggly and is extremely useful for locking your opponent in place. In case you haven't noticed, for each of the three moves, Squiggly first takes a step forward to strike a pose before she lets loose her attack. This pose or stance is called Dragon's Breath. Let's take a closer look at it. To Philly, Philly. Fully understand how Squiggly works, you'll need to get familiar with her stances. Dragon's Breath is associated with her punch attacks, and each of her special attacks are done with punch. Wait, and each of her special attacks done with punch pass through it. Dragon's Breath is performed by inputting cursor forward punch and holding the button down. Pay close attention to Squiggly while she's in Dragon's Breath stance to see if you notice anything change. Excellent work! You may have noticed Squiggly seemingly gets stronger or more intimidating during her dragon breath stance. This is her charge up stance and you will reach it simply by waiting in that stance for a certain amount of time. Unless you can get an attack from the stance will hear this Yera version of that attack. Let's see exactly what that does. More hits and more damage, whereas Center Sage not only brings the opponent closer, it puts them in a temporary corner no matter where they are. Dragon's Breath moves and cancels. Squiggly isn't completely stuck in one place once she's in her stance and can reposition herself forward or backwards as needed, and can even cancel out of it immediately or completely. Two different veins. Move forward and backwards by holding left or right. Dragon's Breath, cancel out of her stance by pressing kick or punch for Dragon's Breath. Try them both out. Okay. And she hops around. And cancel out of it. Oof. Oof. She looks at a candle. Oh, uh, what move is that? I don't know what move that is. This sits still looking at a candle. Well done! Both of these techniques should prove useful in the ever-changing flow of battle. You still build up charge on moving back and forth their sands, but you retain your charge even if you cancel out of it. Dragon Punch and Dragon Punch Yara. Squiggly's Dragon Punch land launches her into the air with Leviathan's flames blazing to clear out any aggressors who dare get too close. Sierra version has increased damage, more hits, and flies higher. The Dragon Punch is performed by inputting Z Forward Punch. Dragon Punch Sierra is performed by inputting Z Forward Punch Hold and releasing it with Dragon Breath is charged. That's weird, but that's Breath Candle. Both versions of Dragon Punch have some invincibility at the beginning, 
But they also have to go through Dragon's Breath, so there's a little bit closer to the base, invincible. Or er, invisible. <sighs> Vulnerable. That's every case for Dragon's Breath. Now let's try Squeakly's second stand, Serpent's Tail. Serpent's Tail functions exactly the same as Dragon's Breath, so you can move back and forth, cancel out of it, and charge with at least stronger attacks. Serpent's Tail is performed by inputting force before kick. Oh, jeez. Please, you're just swinging your tail around. See, exactly the same. Did you notice anything while remaining as good as My throat is. Oh my god. I can't keep this up. My throat is gonna quit on me. Arpeggio and Arpeggio Sierra. Leviathan will use a rapid flurry of stabs with his tail and finish it off with one or more. Wait, with one more powerful stab for the Sierra version. Arpeggio will perform by inputting cursor before we like it. Arpeggio Sierra will perform by inputting cursor quick. Quarter circle thick. Quarter circle kick. Quarter circle forward, like kick. <laughs> Nicely done! Mix this quick attack into your offense to keep the pressure on your opponent. Squiggly sings Leviathan's ever expanding swing slings! It is now four in the morning, and I still want you to get off my back. Squiggly slings Leviathan's ever exchanging, ever. Jesus Christ. Ever expanding tail of the opponent to snag them and reel them in. The silver cord is performed by inputting course of the forward media kick. The silver course here is performed by inputting course of the forward media kick and releasing it once the serpent still has charged. To me! Return! Oh, that's a. Uh... To me. We are back. Yeah, let's uh, get over here, no. Scorpion move. And then... Silver coin. Come here. Uh. Note that the silver coin can only stagger for the opponent once per combo. For Scorpion's Tremolo, Tremolo attack, Leviathan plunges his tail into the ground and travels worm-like across the part of the stage to attack. The opponent's speed. Tremolo is performed by Infinite Cross over high kick, heavy kick, and high kick. Tremolo Sierra is performed by putting Cross over forward heavy kick and release once it is strong. Submerge! Tremolo! Good, you've covered nearly everything. There is no boss with stances. There's only one thing. You already know how to cancel out of school with stances, but what you not, might not know is that doing so with her stances charge results in fast recovery, which in turn gives you more freedom to extend your onslaught with even more attacks. For instance, if you hit the opponent with heavy punch, then execute a Sierra cancel, Squiggly will come fast enough to connect another normal attack. There is also a shortcut that allows you to cancel more easily, but it has one condition. You must already be hitting the opponent with a normal attack. To see your cancel and shortcut is permanent and pitting, it will be while the dragon's red is charged, or double peg when servant's tail is charged, and can only be done once the opponent is reeling from attack. Let's see if you're up to the uh, uh, Not candle. Alright, got the charge and then attack with standing high he heavy punch. Double P when heavy punch hits. Attack with light punch. After recovery. No! Attack with me and K. 
kick, double kick when it hits, and then light kick. Ugh. Because you'll be able to unlock the vast potential of Squid to Sierra Castle and get the upper hand against your opponents. When Squid really does her fall in a woman attack, she dives down from the air at a sharp angle, using the Leviathan's tail to dig into the ground, or opponent, whichever comes first. Fall in woman is performed by infinite pressure forward, kick the ball in the air, dive right in. Alright, simple enough. When the squiggly battle opera, wait, with squiggly, with the squiggly battle opera, squiggly flexes her vocal cords to produce this stationary ball of harmonious pain. Squiggly's battle opera is performed by playing first go back in a combination of two kick buttons and consumes one level of tension. <laughs> Give it a try and see how each combination is different. That's not what it's As you may have noticed, the notes will be on the screen stage will stay in the same spot even if she moves around. You'll have to choose where you want to play the note after assessing, not accessing, but assessing the situation at hand. Daisy Pusher. Daisy Pusher is a close range attack that cannot be blocked, in which quickly ascends the opponent to an early grave, then magically brings them crashing down in the coffin, leaving them vulnerable to additional attacks. Daisy Pusher is performed by inputting first go back, like kick, like punch, and consumes one level of tension. Go ahead and knock the feet out from under them. What goes down must fall up? Ha! Since Daisy Pusher functions like a throw, it won't be it won't catch the opponent if they are still recovering from being hit or blocking an attack. An exception to this rule is when the opponent is still reeling from an attack. Oh. Okay. Inferno of Leviathan. Leviathan assumes a more monstrous form and hurls a destructive ball of energy that won't stop until the final is target. This ball will decrease in power over time, but its size and speed will make it difficult to avoid for long. Inferno of Leviathan is performed by inputting cross combat, back, like, or double punch, and consumes three levels of tension. Check out what Squiggly's final attack looks like. Double! Oh, it's not like that, oh. Wow. That's not the right attack. You've caused enough trouble as it is. Incredible! Ooh. Who's next? Aren't we all out of care? No, I think there's like Big Band left. Yeah, there's still Big Ban, and I think that's it. I think we're out of characters. And a one, and a two, and uh, it's Big Band. Don't let his cool demeanor and buttery voice deceive you, Big Band's moves pack a major punch. This tutorial will help you get into the groove and familiarize, familiarize, familiarize yourself with his attacks. Hit me. Big Ban rushes forward with the monster's arm laden with entrance parts. Brass knuckles is performed by inputting back forward punch and give it a strong. <laughs> Jesus, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well. Uh... Can I use the fight of fate where you get a charge well? Charge back well? 
There we go. Jesus. 